So today I'd like to talk about soap niches. Uh, soap niches in a shower or tub is a really good way to add space to the area. Back in the day we had corner shelves and soap holders that all stuck out of the wall. They protruded out of the wall. This is a way that actually goes in the wall. It adds space to the shower um, instead of taking away space from a shower. So I wanted to go over the different options for those and show you all the different uh, ways you could uh, design them and set them up. So this is what we call our standard 13 by 13 inch uh, soap niche. So normally you're going to want to put it in a uh, 16 inch on center stud bay. Now, if you do it the way that we do it, which is a uh, floated uh, shower, instead of like a hardy backer or something like that, like a backer board style shower, uh, you're gonna have some thickness there. So you will lose a little bit of space, but not a whole lot. Our final dimensions end up being about 13 inches wide. And uh, then we can make them as, as tall as, or as short as you want. What seems to be about the right height is about 13 by 13. Um, that will fit almost any product. Now, if you have the Costco kind that are the tall ones with the pump, um, then it, it will not fit it. We recommend to go 15, so another two inches above it there. This is what we call our single bay niche. Uh, it gives you, the depth is about three inches of space because a normal stud is a two by four. So obviously you gotta minus the waterproofing and everything. So this is our single niche and let me show you our double niche. Your next option would be the double bay. You're gonna be 13 inches wide, that's not gonna change. But like I said before, you can go as tall as you want. Now in this case, we actually put a tiled shelf divider in between the two. Uh, this top one is actually 16 inches and this bottom one is, is uh, 14 inches. It gives you extra room for the larger bottles that have the pump on top. Um, so that you can fit your hand in there, the bottles fit, and you can also fit your hand above it. And this one is just enough for the larger bottles here on the bottom. Definitely something to think about when you're remodeling your shower is how many products do I have? How many products do I need in the space? You really don't want to put them on the top of your you know, shower bench or on the floor or things like that. You really want to get them off the floor, get them off those shower benches and tuck them away in the walls. Uh, another thing we like to do is design the shower niches on the wall that's not seen when you first walk in the space. So, you know, when you first walk into your master bathroom, what's the, what's the most hidden wall? That's the wall to try to put the niches because that's the wall that's, um, you know, you're going to have all your products there. You really want that stuff to be hidden. And now let me show you our three bay. So this is our three bay niche. And the difference between this one and the other ones is we actually put a, the dividers in these ones are made out of uh, quartz in this case, but they can be made out of any slab if you have marble or granite. Uh, in this case, they are made out of quartz. And to have a quartz divider, number one, I'd recommend putting it on the bottom. Uh, because as you can see, it makes it look really even and really cool. Um, but the other nice thing about having uh, the, quartz, um, the quartz dividers is that you can actually leave them out an extra inch. As you can see here, we dog ear these uh, edges here, and this actually sticks out past the shower wall, uh, just about by an inch. And what that does is it gives you four inches of space on this inside part here. This gives you kind of a different design and uh, and also has that, that larger ledge there. Now, um, if you just want to do a tile, like on our two bay, you saw on our two bay niche, it's just has a tile divider. Perfectly fine to do it that way as well. Uh, just going up again, adding a third bay. Now you have three sections to put all your products. And again, having 13 inches of space in each one of these, this is going to give you um, you know, 39 inches of space total. So you can measure out your, your products and see what you need for you. A single, a double, or a triple. Or more than that, if you'd like. Um, so for these three bay niche, we have a two 15s. These two top ones are 15, and then we have a 13 on the bottom. So this would fit your normal size um, uh, products, and this would be a little bit oversized product. Again, you can see it's not very low. This is a 48 inch uh, shower valve. So you can see this is about probably 36. And then it does go pretty high here, but you can see the top shelf here is about my level. I'm six feet tall. So this is probably at uh, 68, uh, maybe like 70 inches, something like that. So it's not too tall, but if you are, uh, you know, vertically challenged, maybe we can, you can put the whole thing down more. So, you know, like I said, niches are a great thing to add. It adds space to the shower. There's, our, there's your options, basically, the single, the double, and the triple. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.